Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CoasterNet Updates. We've got some breaking news out of Louisville, Kentucky, where Kentucky Kingdom has finally told us what's in the wind. And it is not Firehawk, Danny. Firehawk is not. <laughs> no, it's not. Firehawk is not in the wind. So after a number of uh, tongue-in-cheek tweets about Firehawk possibly going to Kentucky Kingdom, it is not. Uh, but they are indeed getting a brand new Gravity Group wooden roller coaster. Um, that seems somewhat interesting. Somewhat interesting uh, from the perspective of uh, it's probably going to be a lot smaller. They're trying to sell it in the press release. They are definitely selling this ride as a family roller coaster, even going as far as to say that it is going to have a 40 inch height requirement uh, versus, you know, yeah. like a standard 48 inch. Uh, you're going to need parental uh, supervision with that. Or even like a 44 or 42, I think, is what some of the other ones have. Uh, you, you know, that's I, I think that's even smaller than a Oscar's Wacky Taxi. Uh, while, while you're talking here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to research this here. So uh, the ride itself, uh, they talk about the different turns. It's going to, uh, you know, they, they have, um, you know, looking at this animation, uh, you can see a little fly around that looks like a planet coaster type uh, type rendering here, I think. Um, very low to the ground, uh, probably only about a 35 foot drop. Uh, so I, I, I think like a Rorosaurus wooden warrior type ride is what we're getting. And Danny, I don't know about you, but a lot of people seem surprised by this and thinking that Kentucky kingdom should have gotten something bigger. Um, and I don't know if that's altogether the case looking at the history of Kentucky kingdom. Um, you know, Ed Hart's always loved to put in roller coasters into Kentucky Kingdom. It's what got him into trouble in the first place. Uh, it's what got Six Flags into trouble, was over expanding the park, putting in stuff that was too big mm -hmm. that it couldn't support, um, and, and, and gaining massive amounts of debt in the process. Um, so now <laughs> it seems Ed Hart is putting in smaller stuff, uh, things like Storm Chaser, things like Lightning Run, um, you know, things like this, and he's getting a better bang for his buck. You know, he gets to put in a brand new roller coaster, gets to market Kentucky Flyer, and uh, everyone seems to be happy, uh, except for some of the fans out there, which I'm a little bit surprised by, because this is exactly the type of ride I think Kentucky Kingdom should be getting. Uh, you can debate whether they needed a roller coaster this soon, but if they were to put in another roller coaster, this is about the size that I think it it, it, it it was going to be. Well, and let's be honest, this is not a huge investment here. I mean, no. th this, is, this is not a large expenditure. Um, this could maybe be a stopgap before they maybe do a slightly bigger coaster, whatever that next step may be. Um, correction, Oscar's Wacky Taxi is 40 inches if you are with a supervising rider of ages – 14 or over uh, it's 46 inches according to the website uh, to ride by yourself so, um, so that's so, gonna be the, basically the same thing as this then it sounds like this will be the same it says riders must be a minimum of 40 inches tall to ride riders under 46 must ride in the same car with a supervising companion age 14 or older so i wouldn't be surprised if we get something exactly the same as that um you know, th this is, um, it, it kind of looks like one of these Wooden Warrior, Rorosaurus, Oscars, Wacky Taxi type of rides. Um, maybe a little bit shorter, uh, more of an out and back, whereas Oscars, Wacky Taxi, uh, Wooden Warrior is sort of an out and back, but it sort of has like an L-shape layout or a T-shape layout. Um, Oscars, Wacky Taxi, and Rorosaurus are more of like a double out and back. Um, style ride. This is just a simple out and back. Um, so this is going to be more in terms of length, maybe like a wooden warrior. Um, I, I, I haven't seen the, uh, the are, are the official stats on RCDB for this just yet? Or um, yeah, so yeah, so 1,280 feet long, 45 foot drop, 35 miles per hour, uh, 54 degree bang, 52 degree drop. So now let's look at Wooden Warrior, which I think is pretty similar. Wooden Warrior is 1,239 feet, um, a drop of 36 feet with an overall elevation change of 45 feet, top speed 35 miles per hour, vertical angle 48 and a half degrees. So this ride is essentially um, Wooden Warrior straightened out into a straight line as opposed to the L-shape layout. The stats are very, very similar. Uh, basically the same speed, almost the same drop height, 
uh, and within 50 feet in terms of length. So to me, if you're a fan of Wooden Warrior, um, with 12 airtime moments, hopefully uh, this ride will be in that same category, which I don't think is a bad thing. No, I, I think this is a fine addition for the park. Uh, it, it's adding in another, uh, you know, family coaster, something that even, you know, uh, if, if they, if they add enough, you know, stuff to it, you know, something everyone can enjoy. Um, I, I do think there is one, uh, one, one thing that I need to note here that I'm a little bit disappointed by, and that's the logo. And oh, the logo like, is awful, isn't it? And, and the logo was kind of weird to begin with. And we were like, eh, you know, that, that kind of looks like, you know, like flying eagles type ride logo and then it reminds me then, kind of like then, a ravine flyer logo and <laughs> yeah you were saying it looks like a poor man's ravine flyer logo but but the thing i pointed out to you is you know the fly the flyer part of the logo looks fine the wings i kind of get it you know it's kind of a you know a cheap version of like a skyhawk or a ravine flyer like you said um but andy the kentucky in this yeah. logo is not even close to centered and some of you design people out there may say well it's a visual trick because the y comes to a point in the bottom in the middle and it's a visual trick and it's actually set no we drew horizontal lines on this logo across all the letters and it's it is tilted to the left yeah it's not actually centered on the logo at all so uh, i'm a little disappointed that um even if you were going to go the cheap route and just have you know someone make up a logo in you know word and paint using word art or something you could have it you could have at least done that right come on now. yeah like i mean the, like the lightning run logo is whatever it's text the storm chaser logo you know it, it, at least the storm chaser logo at least looks professional where it's got like the lightning bolt and the text and the little tornado, they, that looks like you hired someone to do it. This looks like some guy was sketching something on a napkin and like that's just what they went with. You know, I, here's what I feel like. I feel like they had like a flyer logo and they just added in the Kentucky and some guy just, you know, went in himself and did it and, and put the text in there. And that's why, like, if you would place those letters individually, and it's not that hard to place it letters individually on a logo. Instead of letting some other system, you know, you know, make it and it not look visually right, like you should have just placed those letters individually on there. Um, yeah, it just looks strange. I mean, I, I think the logo would actually be, you know, just fine if it was executed properly. But, um, you know, a nice idea, not a great idea, but a nice idea, but uh, executed pretty poorly. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully the ride turns out uh, better than the logo did. And then I think we'll, and, you and I will at least be happy about that. And Gravity Group has been doing some excellent lead cars lately too. So they hopefully, have, hopefully they spend a little money on the lead car. Unlike they did with Storm Chaser that has like the bare bones RMC trains. Uh, hopefully they yeah. do a little bit more on the lead car because they think of like things like Switchback and Oscar's Wacky Taxi and Roarosaurus. Those lead cars are they've got, fantastic. Yeah, they've got great lead cars. You know, Switchback has the the train. Uh, Oscar's Wacky Taxi has the ta the, the 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 gr the grubby taxi with Oscar peeking out. Uh, um, Wooden Warrior is just the generic um, Timberliner front. Um, Hades three sixty eight uh, has has the Hades guy on the front, I believe. Uh -huh. um, you know, Roarosaurus is the dinosaur, the Triceratops, and a uh, what is it? Cute Chuchulin over there in Ireland has like the the muscular dude up front. Uh -huh. So um, it seems like if we're going with an airplane theme here, it'd be really cool if we could get like you know the warbird style airplane with maybe some wings and like a propeller on the front at least. They, you know that'd be kind of cool. And maybe it looks like you're sitting in the cockpit or something. That that yeah. would be kind of cool if we did something like that. So maybe maybe they'll even have a tail on the back. I don't know. That, that'd be hey, cool. you know all these ideas are really cool. So we'll see what what actually comes to pass here. Um, hopefully we get a POV somewhere as well to get to get a better look at this ride. Um, so as always, uh, we will keep you updated here on the on the announcement season that just won't end, Danny. <laughs> we thought we were done. We thought we were done with Six Flags. We got Hershey Park coming up later this week. See where Orlando is going to be later this week. We still got a bunch of stuff coming. It's October, Andy. Just, it just will not end. So I know you guys are enjoying it. So as always. Uh, thank you for joining us here on CoasterNet Update. I'm, of course, Andrew Barczak from Chicago, Illinois. I'm Danny Miller from Binghamton, New York.
right on, right, Warriors. Thanks, guys. See you.